Welcome to the installation and setup video for the Kurt 57009 TireLink Auto Tire Pressure Monitoring System. Visit the link in the video's description to view a full color instruction manual and for more information. Before installing and using TireLink Auto, be sure to use the included charging harness and charging brick and fully charge the repeater for at least four hours. In the meantime, you can download the One Control Auto app and create a profile for your vehicle and trailer. One Control Auto is available for iOS and Android smartphones. TireLink Auto offers two options for supplying power to the repeater, a continuous 12-volt splice-in harness or the integrated rechargeable battery. For portable multi-trailer use, use the included charging cable and 120-volt wall charger. For this hardwired installation, we'll be using the included 12-volt splice-in harness to connect our TireLink Auto repeater to this boat trailer's onboard 12-volt battery, and we'll mount the repeater near the battery. The included 12-volt splice-in harness can be used in numerous ways for you to splice into a 12-volt power source on your trailer to power and recharge the repeater. Be sure the 12-volt power source is constant and not intermittent and that a strong connection has been made. The repeater should be mounted facing the tow vehicle on the trailer's frame, exterior wall, or inside a trailer compartment as low, forward, and centered and facing toward the tow vehicle as possible. Make sure you choose a mounting location that is accessible and close to the tow vehicle for the devices to communicate with each other. Secure the mounting plate to your chosen location using the included self-tapping screws. Here we are marking the mounting hole locations and drilling pilot holes for easy installation of the hardware. Make sure the mounting hardware is seated and the mounting plate is secure. Once the mounting plate is secure, slide the repeater onto the mounting plate until it clicks into place. For the splice-in power option, we begin by screwing in the included power wire harness into the repeater's power connector port. We've customized our harness by adding ring terminals for easy installation with the battery's accessory posts. Make sure your connections are secure and tightened. Now you can prepare to pair the repeater with the One Control Auto app by tapping the button on the front of the repeater to wake up the device. The device should power on with a red light indicating the repeater has power. Now open the One Control Auto app on your smartphone and follow the prompts to log into your account or to create a new one. Once you reach the One Control Auto homepage, select Pair Device under the tire link icon. On the Devices Found screen, the app should display any available tire link repeaters that are in range. Your repeater should have an ID with a decibel value identified. This decibel value reflects the connectivity range from the repeater to the driver's seat or where your phone will be operated from. For strong Bluetooth connectivity, keep the decibel value in between a range of negative zero to negative 80 dB. If the decibel value is outside of that range, the repeater will need to be relocated closer to the tow vehicle. Select your device and tap the connect button. Once pairing is successful, tap Next to create a custom trailer profile. Name your setup for easy reference, then click Finish. You will be returned to the One Control Auto home screen, where your custom trailer profile has been saved. Now you can click Open underneath the tire link icon to set up your trailer and identify the number of tires and axles you'll be monitoring. Click Set Up Vehicle. At the bottom of the screen, there will be two buttons, Add Two Wheels or Add Four Wheels. We'll be adding two wheels per axle for this boat trailer. If you add the wrong amount or make a mistake, just simply tap the arrow button next to the Set Up Vehicle Axles button and start over. Once you've correctly identified the number of tires and axles, click Confirm. With the sensor screen active, choose your tire sensor and prepare to install the sensor onto the valve stem. Here we are using the included lock nuts and installing them onto the valve stems first. The lock nuts are used as a theft deterrent and are optional and are not required for a successful installation. Next, tap the tire on the screen that corresponds to the tire on the trailer that you will install the tire sensor onto. Do not install the tire sensor at this time, then tap Continue. 
Now you can thread on the tire sensor onto the valve stem and tighten the lock nut against the sensor using the included wrench if you have the lock nuts installed. It may take up to 90 seconds for the connection to be made. With the sensor found, repeat the process for the remaining tires. If the tire sensor isn't found, remove the sensor, wait 10 seconds, then tap try again on the app and reinstall the sensor. If connectivity issues still occur, please don't hesitate to reach out to our technical support team. We'll be happy to help. We have repeated this process for all tires on this boat trailer and we have the sensors connected successfully. You will immediately see the tire's pressure and temperature identified in the app. From here, you can tap individual tires to get to an individual tire configuration page, or you can tap the configure all sensors button to set alerts for all sensors at once. In the configuration pages, you can set minimum and maximum pressure alerts and minimum and maximum temperature alerts. Once you set your alerts, TireLink will now be fully functional for your setup, and you'll be able to monitor tire pressure and tire temperature from your phone. On the sensor homepage, you can see the repeater's battery life identified here. Make sure to keep the repeater fully charged. To save energy, the repeater will enter a sleep state when motion or rotation of the sensors has stopped for more than 10 minutes. Data from the sensors is sent to the repeater every minute while in motion or while the sensors are rotating. In an emergency situation, like a dramatic air pressure leak, data is transmitted quickly to the One Control Auto app. If you click on an individual tire, you can see the battery life of the sensor located here. The TireLink Auto tire sensors are powered by an internal coin cell battery. If you suspect or notice a sensor not communicating with the repeater and have tried reconnecting, it's possible the sensor's battery may need to be replaced. Tire sensors use common CR1632 batteries. To replace a tire sensor battery, or the rubber O-ring, use the included sensor tool. Separate the tool into two halves, then sandwich the sensor in between the two halves of the tool and carefully loosen the sensor's screw-on cap. This cap gives you access to the internal battery and the O-ring for replacement. Once the battery is replaced or the O-ring, replace the cap and tighten it down with the sensor tool and reconnect the sensor to the repeater and the app. It may be necessary to perform a factory reset on your repeater if connectivity issues occur. To do this, tap the button on the repeater and watch for the red light to come on. When the light goes off, press and hold the button for 10 seconds. The red light will begin flashing while you're holding the button. When the red light flashes rapidly, release the button, wait one second, and tap the button one more time. The red light will cycle and the factory reset will be confirmed. For an in-depth troubleshooting guide, and for more information on TireLink Auto and the One Control Auto app, please visit KurtMFG.com. Hit the road with confidence and tow smarter with TireLink. Thank you for watching this video. Now get ready to bring it.